To set up a page in InDesign, first click on the Create New button on the left hand side of the screen. When the new document window opens, look at the top of the screen and select from the different types of template. I'm going to use a print template and I'm going to use an A4 size page. Now the A4 option isn't visible at the moment, so click View All Presets and you can see the different size of paper or canvas that you could choose from. Here's A4, so I'm going to click that and then I'm going to look to the right hand side of the page and change the units of measurement to something that's easier to work with. So if I click from the list on the far right hand side, I'm going to select millimeters and you can see a size A4 page is 210 by 297 millimeters and right now the page is set to portrait mode. If you look to the bottom of the new document window, you can see we have margins and we also have bleed and slug. Now we're going to change those, but we're going to leave them alone for now and we'll change them once the canvas has been created. So simply click create. Now I have a standard A4 page in InDesign. The first thing I'm going to do before I do any work in this document is create um, a bleed guideline. And this allows me to add an image or graphic design elements to my page and make sure that when I print this out and cut it down to size, I'm not left with any um, white slivers of paper where I haven't um, placed an image. So to do that, go to File and then scroll down to Document Setup. A window will appear with the margins and bleed and slug options again. Now, when you create a magazine, the standard measurements for margins are usually 10 millimeters. So in the top margin, just put 10 millimeters and press the tab key and all of them will change to 10 millimeters. And that's because the um, chain setting is clicked where it says make all settings the same. So that needs to be um, clicked and, and checked. It's, it appears darker than usual. If I turn that off, it goes light gray and a line through it. So you need to make sure that that's actually the, the dark square that you can see on my screen. Um, so with the margin set, now you're going to go further down to bleed and you're going to change that to three millimeters, which is the standard bleed on a magazine page. So type in three and then press the tab key and again you'll see that they all change. Now you need to make sure that also at the very bottom left hand side the preview is checked so that you can see the margins and the bleed that have been applied to your page to make sure they look the way you want them to look. So just always make sure that preview is checked off here. So you can see I have a red outline around my page and I have a 10 millimeter margin on the canvas. So when you're happy with this page setup, then click OK. So when I print this page out, the red bleed line won't appear. That will just be where the um, image will spill over the canvas. So I know that when I print this out and cut it down on a paper cutter, um, I won't be left with any white slivers because I didn't make the image large enough. So what I'm going to do now is apply uh, my cover image to this magazine page. So to do that, I'm going to click on the rectangle frame tool and I'm going to draw uh, a, a picture holder, a frame, from the top corner to the bottom corner of my bleed area. Now I'm going to go to File and then Place, because this is how you insert images in InDesign. And I'm going to choose an image that I've saved from, from um, earlier, uh, which is a, a road, and then click Open. And now I've placed that into the picture frame, but you can see the picture is exactly an A4 canvas sized image. And I want this to move over the bleed. So to do that, I'm simply going to right click and then go to Fitting and then fill frame proportionally. And you can see now it's stretched the picture out over the, um, over the actual edge of the canvas and, and into the bleed area. Now with that done, all I need to do is start adding the other visual elements like a title and text to this, to this page. So to do that, I would use the type tool. I'd create a text box. Now I don't want it to be large in the margin. So anything in this pink and purple um, outline is where text should be uh, placed. It shouldn't be placed outside of this boundary. So I'm just going to call this magazine, um, we'll just call it Road Trip Magazine.
and I'm going to select a, a font for that. So I'll just use, I don't know, what have I got here that looks nice? Um, this will do, Myriad Pro or, there we go, this one, this one will do. Any old font will do for now. And then I'm going to change the size of the font either by using the up and down arrows or by picking from the list or if it's still um, not big enough, I can click in here and, and type. Um, so let's say I use 90 font. Um, but you can see obviously now the uh, the magazine part um, has disappeared because it's larger than the text box. So all I need to do here is just change the size of that text box. There we go. Uh, double click on the text again, highlight it, and I'm going to center that. Okay. Um, and then if I just click on the selection tool and click off the background, there we go. I've got an image on my canvas. I've got a title. Now, if I want to see what this looks like when I print it out without all these guidelines, if you look at the very bottom left-hand side of the screen, you can see where it says normal. If I click and hold the mouse button here, the uh, window expands and I can go to preview to see what it will look like as a print preview. And if I want to go back to the way it looked earlier, so I can work in it, click and hold that button again, and then go back to normal. I can also switch to the bleed to see the uh, what it looks like beyond the canvas with the bleed included. But really, you just want to be working in the normal mode there. And that's how you set up a page with uh, bleed and correct margins for a magazine.